Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas, and today we're going to talk about a patient that when they walk in our door, it's a challenge. What we're going to try and do is save a failing restoration. In this case, it was full upper and lower dentures. The upper and lower dentures violated the vertical dimensions of rest. Also, the patient was a chronic grinder, and due to patient finances, the patient could not afford to go with all new bars for the upper and lower. So what the decision was, because the upper denture was in worse shape, was to try and salvage it by making a new denture on the existing bar. Now one of the challenges we have in a case like that, especially when we're going to pick up the prosthetic components chair side, is the block out. And on this case in particular, as you're going to see, there was a ton of space between the bottom of the bar and the gingiva. Now why is that important to block out? Because one of the worst phone calls we get is when the prosthesis gets locked in, meaning something that was removable is now fixed. And what do you do? You have to grind it out and destroy that beautiful denture that your laboratory has fabricated. So the solution to this is an item we've had for years. It's called permablock. It's a cellulose-based material. It doesn't um, wash away with saliva, with water. It adheres to tooth structure, adheres to alloys. It's fantastic. Now, we used to provide it in these little single-dose capsules that were great for small bridges, for single tooth, for block out, for pickup. But the feedback we got was that on full arch cases like this, it was difficult. It was a time sink changing out the capsules and the demand was for a delivery system where a clinician could block out a full case without the time and money sink of changing out the capsules. So we changed the delivery method. Now it's in a syringe. You're actually going to get more material this way, but Let's get to how this product is used. So the patient presented and the fractured bar was removed, sectioned off, and it really was only the distal cantilever that had broken off, so the implant was covered. And the next step was to use the syringe of the permablock and block out this large undercut between the bottom of the bar and the tissue. Once again, we want to eliminate locking in the prosthesis during our chair side pickup of the prosthetic components. So as you can see here, permablock was used to block out. It was easy to use, stayed in place, and after the block out, it's easy just to poke away with the tool, pick up most of the big pieces, and then suction up the rest. Getting back to this case, the undercuts were blocked out. This was a hater bar, so we decided to use three clips because the patient wanted more retention than they had before. That was their chief complaint. The green processing spacers were placed. The alignment metal housings were placed on the green processing spacers after they were cut down to height and seated on the bar. They were prepped. The denture base was prepped. Lingual access channels, escape vents were prepared. And the housings were picked up and self-curing acrylic. After that, we chose to go with the yellow clips to provide the patient retention knowing that if the patient still wanted more retention, we could go up to the red. And thankfully, this bar didn't have enough wear where we needed to use the extra strong blue kit clips. Keep in mind with the blue clips, they are undersized, and we really only want to use those on cases where the bar has wear. So this was a case a new denture was fabricated. The existing bar was shortened. The distal implant was put to rest. And we provided the patient with a stronger, more aesthetic, brand new prosthesis using clinical procedures. Thank you for Tech Talks. We'll see you next time.